Hello, now I'm going to show a little bit a uh, brief overview of formulas in Crystal Reports. We're back at my template report and the formulas field, uh, to create a new formula, you can click on this button or over here under the formulas field. You can right click and select new. Then you gotta name the formula. For he this example, I'm gonna do the producer's name. So let's call it producer name. Notice I didn't put a space in there because it really makes it easier when you're copying and pasting. If you double click on stuff, it's going to select the word. If there's a space, then it only would grab the producer instead of the entire formula name. It will, you'll notice it's going to help out a lot down the road if you leave out spaces or use underscores or something like that. We'll click OK and it brings up the formula workshop. So uh, for now I'm going to save and close. I wanted to show you something real quick if you press control Z basically what it does is it reverts the changes that you made to the report now I can press control Y and go forward if you if you've accidentally did something so I'm pressing control Y and you notice if I press control Z that my formula field over here disappeared if I press control Y it comes back so I'll go back in there um, you can select from your report fields, existing fields, or you can select from uh, database table fields. So for here, I want the first name and the last name. So I want last name first, and then comma, space, and then the first name. So what I do is I just double click on the last name, and it puts it on the report. Now if I just save and close it like that, and I drag the formula onto the report, it's just going to show the the producer's last name like that but I want to add it to have a comma first name so here's how you do it then you would do space plus sign and then you're gonna have in order to put free text you have to have it surrounded by single or double quotes and I want a comma with a space so there's my comma with a space surrounded by the single quotes there apostrophe and then I'm gonna do a space and then plus and then the last name field, or the first name field, like that. So we got the last name plus the comma space plus the first name. So then we'll click, you can do control S to save and close. Now we have the producer's first and last name, just like that. That's all I wanted to show you on this one. Thanks for watching.